Hello and welcome back. My name's Roberto. For those that are new here, for those that um, have subscribed, like, shared and all that, a special welcome back to you all. Now, I'm sitting like this on a stool and I've got the bike set up because in about 15-20 oh, minutes I'm going to have a Mr. Jeff Garland coming in uh, from Garland Custom Fabrication. He does exhausts and things like that and he's coming in with the two little tips that come off the Termi system and we're going to be sort of um, mocking them up to see which is the best angle uh, to fit. So we're going to see how it all works and hopefully it'll finish off that bottom section and make it look somewhat like it's meant to be and not just two little pea shooters sticking out of a can. Um, again, for those that are not aware, uh, the system that we put on the Street Fighter is actually designed for the Panigale. So with the Panigale, it comes with a carbon fiber fairing and then a side plate where the exhaust tips go out of and it looks you know, fantastic. But because we've retrofitted it to the Street Fighter, it's a different sort of scenario because it's a lot more open. It's a, um, you know, naked bike. So it's, uh, yeah, we've got to try and make it look somewhat, you know, purposeful uh, and also stylish, yet sleek and modern to suit the new Street Fighter. So um, Hang 5, we'll get Jeff in and um, we'll have a look and see what we can sort of come up with. I figured I'd get the bike set up this way. Yep. So then we can kind of stand back and have a look and see yep, sure. sort of how it works. Yep. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Where do you want me to put these parts? Oh, where are the bench? Spot on the bench here, yeah, yeah, just on the bench. Do we see just before we get started? Yeah. Can I talk now? You can, yeah, 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 talk, talk as much as you want. We're recording. Um, we're, oh, recording. Okay. we're full recording. Oh, so okay. Yeah, so there's a camera so you can wait. All right. Hello, so, guys. Good morning. This is Jeff from, um, uh, what do you actually want to call it? Garland Fabrication? Garland Custom is fine. Garland Custom is fine. So don't get it wrong. All right, so we're going to... Sorry, I went in the back. Okay. So, so what I've done here, as we discussed previously, was to remove the original tips yep. from the framework which came with the... Yes. the other component for the different system. Yep. Um, so uh, what, what I've done here is very, very carefully cut the welds from the back and then... You wouldn't even know that this was like welded on. No, not yet, not yet. Um, what, what we will do though is um, because this, this stainless has been um, made to appear like titanium, yep. um, that it's been uh, bead blasted with a satin finish mm -hmm. and then it had some slight temperature added to it to give it the colour. Oh, yeah. So I'll be able to duplicate that. So I actually did a test piece here this morning on the old section wow, where yeah. I've linished it and then just apply a little bit of heat and it's brought it almost identical to the original. So we should be able to achieve that yeah, with the finish awesome. of the tips and then we, of course we retain it with what's original uh, yeah. with the well, two system on the bike. The problem is but we kind of... Oh no you're right because the exhaust we haven't changed. So no. it's just the everything else we've had ceramic yeah. coated. So. Yeah. So if you were to have a look at the, how the rear tips are, uh, with, which are this shape, yeah. then all we have to do really is to make a maybe a conical reducer or something like that. Mm. And I see that there's some uh, there is some bolt holes on the yeah. original pipes yeah. where probably DB killers or something yeah. like that. I'll give you that for a second. I'll go grab the DB killers. Yep. So I had them ceramic coated black. So if we have to use them, we um, where they're, they're not going to sort of show up as much. Yep. So. These are, and they've already got thread in there. Yep. So they just go. Other way. You think? No, 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 no. Yeah, they do go that way. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. That's so, okay. So I just thought I'd do them in black, so then yep. at least if I have to use them because I'm so deafened, yep. um, <laughs> it's not going to be that bad. So, yeah, sure. So we'll, we'll come in a little bit more so we can sort of see what we're doing. So what I'm kind of thinking here, Roberto, is luckily there's already um, holes drilled for the DB killer, so we should be able to utilise that mm. in without mm. having to drill anything. Yep. Um, and that's kind of made my mind up now after seeing it live that um, of how we can attach. So simply by you know, obviously getting the tips in the in the right sort of shape. So right. I think we're kind of like that. Yes, I'll hold that. Yep. So something along the lines of that, that one probably wants to kick around a little bit straighter like that. Um, keep the reducer as short as we possibly can. Yep. Um, and then maybe with a nice, if you want to supply a nice cap head that you want to use in key with the rest of the bike or whether we just yep. put, put a different I've cap got, head on it. I think I've got stainless, yeah, I've stainless got, dome. I've, like got, I've got the same. So, perfect, so that's all I'd use. So um, what I can do is um, basically make the internal of this a captive thread. 
Yep. And then we just come through the top of these with a button head and literally just bolt them. Yeah, yeah, cool. That which, should, which should uh, which should look really good. So just we just have to determine. Obviously, I, I have to have a certain amount of lengths to work with. Yep. To be able to um, get everything to work to go from this diameter, which is 60 mil, yep. down to this diameter, which looks like about 44. Well, I've got a vernier. So I've got a vernier right there. Thanks, mate. Oh, I'll I'll just pass it to me, please. Thank you. I think, because I mean the way they actually go is kind of like that. I think. Yeah, they they would go. They would point fairly straight. Mm. Um, I think realistically to to create that, uh, and with the reducer, everything's going to need to be sort of straight from the exhaust. If you understand what I mean. So it would be very difficult to kick it, or unless you put some sort of bend on it. But then also this this is quite pointed and. Mm. For the rider, I think you know really it, it probably needs to to come back a little bit like that if that is you know good for you aesthetically. Mm. Um, I personally think it looks good, but it's all, all up to you as to so as what, you want to. So what do you think like that? Because that's kind of the flat of the holes all the way back there, so it kind of has to go like that, doesn't it? Well, an upswept look, which would, would yeah, be really yeah, nice. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I yep. think that's the way it has to be, because then it kind of looks like... Yeah. Well, then this, this line is then blending in with this line. Yeah, yeah, I think that's and, 100%. Uh, what do you reckon? Um, this is a big thing. This is going to make or break the bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I take so a play massive it though. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, me personally, I, I like the bottom one to be offset. To, oh, I reckon that looks because then you've got the line of the two tips coming vertical that way. Yeah. yeah. So when you yeah. go around corners, yeah. you won't Makes scrape. Sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm with Jeff. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, yeah just, you, to you me, it just looks you naturally want to use the that it wants to go there. Yeah. No, I can't. You can't. You can't use the carbon fiber. So you're in. Yeah. We'll just be. Yeah. No problem. No problem at all. So Jeff came back late in the afternoon after he'd done all his work, uh, you know, drilling the holes and getting, you know, he actually machined conical spaces and things like that to get the tips fitting uh, perfect. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really scared. I'm scared because to me, and obviously it's my opinion because it's my bike and everyone else is going to have a different opinion, but I think it's almost too perfect. And when things are too perfect, you either get hit by a bus or struck by lightning. So... I'm a little bit sort of concerned. I'm very, very happy with it. I think it just looks amazing. But um, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. So we'll see you. I'm only joking. But before we have a look, so if you have a look behind me, oh, oh no, wrong way. Oh, yeah, it's all fitted up. Um, we're going to look at a couple of customer bikes. So I'm very lucky that I get to play with lots of of different people's bikes, especially when they're modding and things like that. And it kind of gives me a better insight because I can see what works for me, what I like, what I don't like, and then I can adapt something to suit my styles. But sometimes as well, you sort of give advice and go, I would do this and do that. So the sort of builds are a little bit hard because someone else does exactly what you wanted to do and then you try and do it for yourself. You don't want to copy them because copying's not cool. But anyway, if we turn around, so let's, um, let's turn around here. I've got two of my customers' bikes. How do I do that again? Um, that one. Okay, cool. So I've got two street fighters here. I've got a black street fighter. It's um, owned by uh, Mr. J. So Mr. J's just got picked up a brand new one. We've done a couple of mods for him and he's done a lot of work himself. So we've just finished the paint protection, but we'll go through a couple of them. One of the biggest features, dry clutch. How cool is that? It's got the dry clutch, the full acro. Um, those keen observers will see a shiny gold Desmo World sump guard. Uh, he's got, let's have a look, got quite a bit of carbon. I've still got more carbon to fit for him today. Uh, he's got the Rizoma screen he's got carbon front guard from ducati he put the cnc spaces on which look pretty cool in black to match the stealth black he's also got the carbon uh, winglets which i think look really really cool i like the carbon winglets uh, then the carbon top so if we sort of turn around and go here let's go down oh, oh, oh. he's got the carbon actually i'll swing around he's got the uh, carbon uh, tank cover then he's got this gorgeous silver motor course fuel cap and I just love motor course then he's got these mental mental 
uh, Moto Gadget uh, bar end mirrors, and apparently they're full machined aluminium or stainless or whatever they do, so it's actually mirrorless. So that's not a mirror, it's just been machined, and I reckon it's chemically sort of, they must put a chemical on it to, to get it to look like a mirror. Um, full acro exhaust, he's removed some of the, um, the shielding from the sides to show off. Now, this is still a build in progress, so he's got a lot more to come, and the gold sump guard that people are probably thinking, why the hell did you do that? It's gonna make more sense when he gets the rest of the parts on. So this one's sort of, I would say, not quite mid-build, but nearly mid-build, and then he's got a lot more parts to go on. So that's the Stealth Street Fighter. So just to give you guys a bit of inspiration for your own Street Fighters, just a couple of other sort of, you know, bits and pieces that other people have done. Now, this is another uh, V4S uh, in traditional red. Uh, acro system, full acro system, and um, Mr. L has actually ridden his bike, so uh, Mr. J with the black stealth hasn't been actually ridden, he hasn't even picked it up yet. So you can see when we polish the pipes, the beautiful titanium um, that goes through. He's got the CNC uh, clutch with spinning, he's got the Pramac racing uh, rear sets. Now, what Mr. L has, which is just epic, and apparently you can't get it anymore, is he's got um, the Marcazzini uh, magnesium forged rims which is really cool, which I think just suit the bike so well because the engine uh, covers are in that same magnesium finish. So this one's a really, really cool bike. Uh, he's got the CNC uh, brake ducts. He's got carbon fiber winglets, which is pretty cool. He's got the Rizoma front screen, which to be fair, Mr. J actually copied him because he saw it in the showroom and went, yeah, I want it. Um, he's got Rizoma bar ends. Now he's gone something a little bit different. He's gone the red and blue, res I'm sorry, red and black reservoirs, which is pretty cool. Uh, CNC racing levers, he's got the carbon fuel tank uh, cover. Then he's got a bit more trick stuff this side. He's got one of those, um, I think it's pro filter or pro something or other, the, um, the radiator hose to reduce temps. Bit more sort of CNC stuff and a lot more carbon. And then he's also got the swing arm cover, which I'm thinking I may need to put on my bike and not because I really want it but because there's like a mark in the metal from factory and I want to kind of hide that gold chain and then when he needs to get sprockets he'll replace it with a two-piece sprocket so um, yeah it's just two other bikes that you can sort of have a look at and get a bit of inspiration uh, for your own builds I mean not everyone you know is going to like the way I've done my one up and you might prefer um, you know sort of bits and pieces from this bike or if you're more of a sort of stealthy, a matte black type of guy, you've got this one. So yeah, so just a couple there. All right, so let's swing around and let's have a look at the Street Fighter. So this is with, well, let's get the camera right. This is with the tips on. So, you know, write in your comments what you think, if you think it's good, if you think it's bad, um, if you think it sort of just doesn't look right but that's kind of all put on in situ. And I think from a few different angles, it looks really, really tough. Um, other angles, probably not so much, but I think all in all, I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So I can't sort of thank Jeff you know, enough. Um, and also my entourage that you would have heard in the previous or in the beginning of the video that sort of helped you know, um, sort of work out which way to put them. So. That's kind of how it looks. We'll go around here. So it was really, it wasn't an easy feat um, to get it looking, you know, right and also make sure that it uh, lined up because you've got so many different angles and, and radiuses to sort of make work. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed sort of, you know, finally seeing the tips put on. I know I have. Um, it's been a big relief to sort of get that part finished. So technically the exhaust system is 100% done. Uh, now, don't forget last episode we had that promo with the side stand, the silver side stand, the custom one that's made from CNC just for me. You could win one. So please jump back. There'll be a box over there and click on that, watch the video and then write in the comments where you are from and your name and if you'd like to win one. Um, as soon as they come into stock, we'll do a um, live draw. So someone in the world is gonna win a side stand pin for a V4 Panigale or Street Fighter, depending on what you ride. Uh, now, next week we're gonna go see Simon, Motorcycle Panel and Paint, get the, uh, the front cover 
the carbon cover sort of painted up, get a bit of an idea with that. Uh, then we've got a couple of other little bits and pieces to fit on the bike. And it's getting, I'm getting a little bit nervous now because it's getting towards the end of sort of the mechanical side of things and it's gonna be more of the riding and sort of starting to do the initial tests and tuning and things like that. So there's obviously a lot more to come, but we get, I'm getting a little bit scared because this is the part that we're leading to is gonna show us if I've done things right or if I've done things wrong or if there's been massive issues with the build. So um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share uh, to the channel and uh, we'll see you all next week with the next update. And until then guys, please stay safe, be happy and we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.